Hello fellow humans, Bad Mark here with MacDeck and today we're taking a look at another budget keyboard. Go figure. Um, I apologize, I am a little under the weather so uh, my voice may be funny. Um, anyway, it's a holiday weekend, happy holiday to everyone, eat well. Um, I know I'm going to eat a lot. Um, so today we have, uh, I want to say about two, three weeks ago somebody came along and posted on our budget keeps and if you're not familiar reddit subreddit budget keeps come take a look a lot of great people a lot of good shares um and we're very welcoming to newcomers so um if you have you know a question and as long as you know you you pose it properly i mean don't just like hey pick, pick a keyboard for me that's way 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 too um just general Give some detail. What do you need? What you don't need? What you like? What you don't like? Things like that. Um, and you'll get some good suggestions, uh, and you'll get some help, even in you know modifying the board. We also have a Discord. Anyway, not here for that. Uh, anyway, this board somebody uh, posted it, and I was like, hey, that looks like a see-through EP84, which I'm pretty sure it's the same case um, as this one. There's several keyboards that use uh, this format of the case and you can tell by the recessed um, USB-C port in that square and also the channels that go as well as the padding. But um, this is the EP84. There's many other models. I, I don't know all of them. Uh, but I'm sure if you have been buying you know, budget keyboards for a while you've probably come across one or own one already. So I saw this one and I was like wow this is you know really nice. I, I've been saying for a long time I'm really not an RGB guy but I gotta confess I think I am because when a board doesn't have RGB or a single light like I'll st I might still get it because of other features but if it doesn't have RGB it's like hmm, it's disappointing and I've come to uh, like especially after I don't have it in here um, a K key monkeys KBMG 680 Pro uh, it's a, it's a acrylic CNC but it's a great it's a great kit and I uh, it's just it, it sounds good and it looks good it's I mean it's clear and the RGB just comes through and it's it's just a good looking kit so uh, this board was uh, I did write it down I did get it uh, again if you haven't heard I have it, it's a little trick it, it works for some stuff I mean I check my Amazon cart several times a day but if you find something that you want and it's regular price and you're like, eh, it's a little bit much, but you put it in your cart and then you take it out of your cart but save it for later and you check your cart a few times a day, if for some reason there's a significant drop in price, um, and sometimes this happens for literally like 15 minutes, it's a flash sale and there's no advertisement, at least I know of a channel, um, maybe through other channels, but it's just like, oh wow half off or even more I've seen 75 80 90 percent off um, on different items including keyboards so uh, this one I've had in my cart since I had found it I was like hmm, that's interesting and then it came across and I was able to get it for 45 I, I know it lists for a little bit more and I was like mm, let's take a look I mean I know when I originally got the EP84 now granted this was back when it was new um, I definitely paid uh, I want to say between 60 and 80 dollars i can't remember but it was close to to, to to retail price i do my best to try to save money um even you know with budget keyboards if if there's a coupon if there's a code i might know it um and i like to share it on the sub another reason come take a look anyway so uh grammar full rgb a wired hot swap mechanical keyboard with frosted translucent case so um on the back specifications it gives you the, the dimensions. It's got a USB-C cable. It has a full body RGB, so it probably has backlit RGB. Um, USB type C. It has a uh, arm, armyourdesk.com Drevo, 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 I can't, I don't know how it's supposed to be pronounced to be quite honest with you. Um, this is the first time I've seen a board by this company. Uh, although 
I'll take a wild guess that they're probably just white label boards. Um, not solvable design, Compact 84 software. I run Linux, so I probably won't be um, giving it a shot. If you uh, ever want to reprogram your board and either your board doesn't have software for your operating system, whether it be Mac, Apple, Linux, whatever, or the software that you do have is extremely limited and doesn't allow you to like remap a key or like, hey, I want to be able to do, you know, caps locks as, you know, my function key or whatever. I mean, just whatever imagination, any way that you want to, please take a look at KMONAD, K-M-O-N-A-D. It is an open source project, uh, which is... I mean, it, it seems a little daunting at first, but just read. It's just a configuration file, and you can configure your keyboard to your heart's desire. Um, now, granted, it's at OS level, so you take the keyboard and take it to another computer. It's not going to work until you install KMOD and copy the code from the config files over, then you're all good. So you can put it on a USB drive, or you can put it in your cloud, so you can just copy it over, install KMONAD, which is free, and it will allow you to set up your keyboard and use it the way you like it. Just a quick, now obviously I guess I did open this already, since the bag's down there, I didn't, I didn't recall. So that's why I'm, yeah, I already did confirm that but when I look at the bottom of this, this is basically a see-through uh, EP84. I think um, Yunzi also sells it as a KC84, don't quote me on that. Um, the. Uh, I bet, yeah, there's, there's a hole probably right here underneath the sticker where this switch would be if it was the, uh, yeah, it's right there. Right there, there it is, yeah. So anyway, it's the same case, um, although you can actually see through it on here. I don't believe this one has, um, yeah, I don't believe that. From what I remember, it doesn't have any RGB shine down, so but this one must. So it's basically the same kit as this, though for the price, it's it, so far. I mean, it's pretty good. We'll see. We'll see. We see. We've got a manual here. Uh, the general information. They have a one-year warranty, and they actually have um, a site. So that's a good start for budget boards. There's a lot of budget boards that they're out of China, and I mean, they may be out of China, but who knows if they actually cover you know their warranty? It'd be nice. Um, comes the sticker. I think it's a horse and a gear. I don't know. I could be wrong. Um, it's it's not too bad. Arm your desk. Online store operated by Drevo. Drevo. It sells a variety of new and cool products, including Drevo's own creations. Like, don't like. Uh, well, they they've got a lot of contact. So I mean, I gotta say this is for budget boards. That's that's not bad. Even if the, this is a white label, obviously, but they have channels for you to reach out to them. They're actually making an effort, more so than I can say for a lot of these other budget boards. So um, again, I bought this with my own money, so I'm not I'm not shilling for anybody. Uh, so I'm just I'm just calling it as it is. All right. So we've got a USB cable, like we always do. I. I do prefer the nylon cables, they feel nicer. I mean, obviously we're not gonna get an aviator on these budget boards, but to at least get a nylon cable, and it does have this little uh, Velcro zip tie, which actually can come in handy um, if you have a lot of cables, like I do. Um, also, we've got a key cap puller. All right, this is supposed to be a hot swap. Yeah, okay, we've got a switch puller and some extra keys, so it is hot swap, it's just separate. It's got one of the horseshoe, um, switch pullers and we've got some extra browns which I believe if I'm not mistaken this is a brown uh, maybe a brown switch so it just got some extra switches which is always nice I mean it's only two but um, and these are yep these are gator on switches so and I believe they had a choice between I don't think they had blacks I think it was just the regular you know blue red or brown um, so I usually go with brown. <clears throat> so, just to take into consideration, yes, this was $45, but it was cheaper than this was retail, the EP84. Um, and, you know, it comes with Gator on switches already. That one, 
believe when I got it, it was a bare bone, but don't quote me on that. Yes, it was a bare bone, actually. Um, but it was pricier than this. Now, granted, that was a long, that, not a long time ago, but a while ago. So we got some extra gator on switches, and we got a switch puller. So we know we've got browns in here. Let's go ahead and put this stuff back in the box. And let's check out the RTB. Let's see what's the... What the fuss is all about? And you're on the warranty. Again, this is a, a... It means a lot coming from a budget company to see things like this. This is usually stuff that you only get from price... There's actually pricier companies that don't even go that far. Um, I don't want to name names, but I'm sure some of us will know. Uh, companies that you might pay a little bit more than perhaps you'd like. I mean, they're not that they have bad products, but when there's issues, they act like... <sighs> they want to make you jump through hoops. You know, it's like, when it should just be like, hey, I, I'm not a noob, and I didn't screw it up, there's something wrong with this keyboard. Which, you know, it doesn't happen all that often, but it does happen, it's electronics. There's going to be a failure rate. Right? Um, I mean, I know companies in this country anyway, are able to say, hey, that's a loss. And if it was retail price, I believe they can write off the full amount. So it's like, well, I give somebody grief, just replace it, you know? I mean, and plus it also, I think, builds brand loyalty. Because if you buy a particular brand and, you know, if there's ever an issue, they're just, you know, they help try to help you to figure it out to make sure that's not a user error issue. But if they come to the conclusion that, you know, either a manufacturing issue or very likely for it to have been something, you know, other than user fault. And even in some situations, user fault, perhaps. I mean, the, that type of brand loyalty that companies would buy in that instance, I think, um, would be worth more than that, or that they'd probably spend on advertising. Anyway, that's just my... Dad's two cents on keyboards and, and customer service, hey. Eh? So, um, anyway, do my silly voices today. So, make sure I don't have escape pressed. Alright. Alright, we got, yeah, some side RGBs, huh? Well, I guess, yeah, we have bottom RGBs too. We got some RGBs all over the place. Well, look at here. So um, we do have the the cheaper keycaps, and you know, I do with my. There we are. And we're just gonna take a quick look. See, but I'm gonna say they're probably under a millimeter in width. Uh, oh, they're right at a millimeter. Actually, that's a little bit thicker than than most. Let me make sure we're zeroed out correctly, because usually they're under a millimeter. See. Yeah, 0.7. All right, I wasn't calibrated. 0.7 on one wall, 0.8 on the other. All right. 0.9. Huh. Very uneven walls, or I'm just not measuring correctly. 0.9. Anyway, they do seem to be somewhere between 0.7, 7. Oh. That's not. Come on. Zero. Point eight. All right. Without applying any pressure, point eight seems to be about what the size is for the keycaps. But again, if you can bend a keycap with your fingers, it's gonna it's gonna sound cheap and plasticky so uh, keycaps are one of the many things in the equation you know it's a formula in order to get the sounds out of keyboards that you want and sometimes you're limited by the material but there's always creativity there's always ways around you can usually get at least close to what you'd like anyway so we got this keyboard I'm gonna go ahead let me see if I can figure out changing the light effects uh, uh, 
I don't know if you uh, it, has anyone ever come across I'm sure you guys have if you bought a more than one keyboard when you hit the function key it shouldn't why it's like okay maybe this is just a mode let me try to change I don't want that I, this I mean seriously all right so I'm gonna take out the manual and see if this is just a mode that's something I I mean obviously I, I get that it's lighting up what keys are available for function but that's not it's too uh, it's too distracting in my opinion Let's see what we've got. All right, home's main backlight effect. Let's see anything about the function. Function escape factory reset. All right. See, function is well. I know I got the. F arrow keys but as a function home changes uh, yeah I can't deal every time I hit function it's going to that's that's silly honestly I mean I don't, I don't want that to happen. And I mean, if it's lighting up, like, well, I don't need function to get to the function keys. I've got function keys. So, I mean, what, the sound? I mean, I, I, I don't get what it's supposed to be doing. So, I mean, I don't know if that's as frustrating to you as it is to me, but that's, I was looking forward to doing a silicone pour into this kit so I could keep the lights, um, cover this up. This was going to be a, uh, a nice 84%. I had a couple of uh, good ideas for keycaps for it, but that's just, that's a deal breaker. I mean... Yeah, so I really can't find anything on this, but yeah, that's um, that's basically a deal breaker there because it's like what is going, and it's just I don't know. I don't even get what the point of that is. I really don't because it leaves the Windows key. Most of the function keys, the F12 doesn't count, I guess, right? right? And Windows and the arrow keys in the column over here, but not delete, print screen, pause. That's just that's silly. Um, yeah, I, uh, I'm going to take a little bit closer of a look on the uh, Amazon reviews because mostly they were good. I, I've i not seen, I mean I've seen other keyboards do this, but usually that's just um, a defective keyboard, so I might actually have a defective keyboard. So anyway, this video, I mean it's, I guess I'll do a, uh, I don't really, I don't think it needs a sound test, it sounds pretty hoping that this keyboard was going to be closer to this one um, but it's not as you can see here the RGB the LED is actually embedded into the PCB so it doesn't stick up and above so um, you can use any five pin switches in here so and like I was talking about I have the Aka silvers if don't like 
lubing switches and you want a nice fast linear switch that even works if you like a little heavier because I don't like usually 35 gram spring weight but this is a great spring a great switch out of the box this is a Hakko CS Silver uh, I, I really really enjoy these switches um, anyway so I was hoping that this uh, Dravo uh, Grammar Full RGB was going to be a worthwhile little project to uh, to modify, but that's just uh, that's a deal breaker for me. It's just not worth it. Obviously, the PCB has numerous issues, including the fact that it's going to limit the switches that I can use. Um, I mean, I can I can almost deal with only you know. The, no holes for the five pins and if I really want to use a set of you know plate mounted uh, or PCB mounted switches that I'd have I could cut the legs off and put it in but at least I have that option here I'd literally have to drill a hole <laughs> into each of the switches to make it fit which I'm obviously not going to do anyway so this again this is going to be a, a board that I, I, I would not recommend I don't know if this is an issue with this board in particular but I I don't want to take the time to actually order another one and realize that it's just how it's made because somebody thought that was cool. I don't I don't know. I mean I can't see a purpose of why you do that. And I mean it does I don't know if you can see it actually flashes the, the lights if you keep doing it really quick. So it it doesn't seem to be a very well thought out board probably not well soldered it doesn't seem to be a good investment so I think they're making up with all the cards that we found on the inside at the beginning for the fact that this isn't really a good keyboard so in my opinion uh, this keyboard is a no-go this is going to be making a trip back because it's not something that I think is worth it so anyway I hope that helps anybody save some time and or money if they decide that or I mean maybe you might like it who knows and if you can find it at a decent enough price I guess um, but otherwise keep calm and keyboard on